<laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, as you can see, we are a glitch NFT platform, apparently. Uh, no jokes aside. So thank you for showing up here tonight. Thank you for uh, just this incredible event. This has been a dream come true, seeing all the builders, because that's what PACT exists. We are here to serve builders. So I want to start with two quick stories. Every startup seems to have a good origin myth, and PACT actually has two. So first story is my good college friend, uh, roommate, he was the TV show creator of a show called Halt and Catch Fire. Maybe some of you guys know it. And uh, so when he sold it, he cried tears of joy. It was 10 years of struggle. And then those tears remained because eight months later, he hadn't received his check. And then when he did get that check, it was 35 cents on the dollar after middlemen had taken out 10% for managers, 10% for agents, 5% for lawyers, 5% for guild fees, maximum withholding. Oh, and by the way, he's a co-writer. So he got 17 and a half cents on the dollar. Story number one. Story number two, I was a recipient and really fortunate to be part of the early uh, inaugural AvaX grant program. Met some people in it. There's a guy named Shegun Komalafe out of Lagos, Nigeria. He is 18 years old uh, at the, when he founded the Code Camp. He was 21 when he did a blockchain pilot program for a bank in Nigeria. Uh, he blockchainified Nigeria's Uber. And then after that, the police came and kicked down his door because he was a developer. They knew that he had money and he had been targeted. So these are two different stories with similar roots. You have devoted builders being exploited by infrastructure that is warped and aligned against them. And that's why Shagan and I teamed up to build PAC. It's a web uh, WordPress for Web3 work markets. So the problem, we just covered it. Don't need to belabor that. Legal banking and Web2 platforms are extractive or sometimes downright dangerous. The solution is PAC combines blockchains, smart contracting, transparent accounting, and decentralized access into fair open access core API for decentralized work markets where users can trust the economic infrastructure and each other. So what we mean when we say a, a WordPress or the core API is there are multiple work markets that can be built on PACT. So why now? Great resignation, work is migrating to the internet at an alarming clip, but I think it's actually gonna be a good thing for work and value creation worldwide. Number two, billions of global talent suffer from banking instability and contract enforcement insecurity. A Harvard economist, Nathan Nunn, did a study that showed that the number one driver of capital around the world is contract enforcement. What is blockchain? Contract enforcement, we should probably get on that. And so blockchain reshaped banking and investing with DeFi and Avalanche now is adding gaming to the mix. We can't even keep up with uh, you guys if you're moving so fast. Now it's time to revolutionize work. So PACT has four core components for our API and it is a global smart contract tool, wallets, profiles, and issue resolution. But instead of going through the deck, let me see if I can do this fast enough to give you guys a quick demo here. All right, so first up, I'm going to slide over here, and this is AfroFund, this is our sandbox. Shig and I wanted to connect African tech talent to global clients. We've actually been very fortunate, and we've placed some people with uh, Avalanche. We've built a uh, game for Polyant that used African tech talent, and I believe that that's just the beginning of a global uh, you know, surge into the space. So let's sign in real quick. Here you go, one, two, three. And right away, we're greeted by something we call the Global Smart Contract Tool. But let's imagine that, uh, you know, I was talking to Gabriel earlier today, that we want to create an avalanche-based community is that it lives online all the time, and we're gonna do a pitch for that. So I'm gonna say, let's search for someone who does some brand design stuff. Right away, we see that person, but that's me, so that's not very useful. Over, over click that, sorry, that. So go to brand. And get to, oh my God, sorry. Two hands. Start time to yell. All right, so we go back here. Brand, brand. And we see this gentleman right here has brand design, so I'm just going to go with him. And you see this thing called an Afro score. The Afro score is basically a score from 1 to 100, almost like FIFA or uh, Madden. And it takes your reputation of past jobs. It also takes reviews that you've earned. It also says if you've referred somebody, how are they performing? It's kind of your brother's keep running. You know, blockchain shouldn't just be with nodes. Blockchain should uh, really you know, instill community. So I'm going to select this person. Go here. Invite talent. And there we go. Finally. And we see this gentleman as an Anon from the near future. He's come from the future to share how blockchain is 100x the value, enjoyment, and creativity of work. So I'm going to shoot him a message. Say, hey. Doing a demo, want to help. And now I'm going to go over to that anonymous profile on my other browser. And in the messaging here, you know it. Let's create. And it's 
term, send it over there. Okay, so now once that happens, it's time for me to use that global smart contract tool. I'm going to say create an avalanche hub pitch. And if, as we know that if it's not going to be, uh, since it's committed to the blockchain, as we specify a job task, if the scope of work's not there, the talent isn't responsible for it. So because it's a demo, we'll be real quick about this. Uh, get people amped about packed. Here we go, next one. Build requirements. We'll just say uh, win over the crowd. And then we go here, and now we have a timeline and delivery schedule. So timeline is, let's do it by And the payment is going to be 100 bucks because that is our minimum for this platform. Hit here, continue. And as soon as we do that, we've just spun up an escrow wallet that's on-chain, non-custodial. So we can pay with credit card. We're using Transact. We also had Bitcoin, but we took it down because we actually want to use BTC.V. We're talking to Luigi about that. But since we're at an Avalanche event, let's do this. Connect the MetaMask. Let's see if it shows up. Great. Confirm. All right. And because it's Avalanche, it's going to go very, very fast. So three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to assign the job to the person I was talking to before. Just type in the initial. And now that collaborator has been joined to that escrow wallet. And the reason we have that escrow wallet is we want skin in the game from both parties. There's so many instances where you have a talent get exploited by clients, especially in freelance markets, where, oh, it's not good enough. Oh, it's not good enough. Oh, it's not good enough. Well, your hourly rate just turned to $2.50 by the end of that process. So now let's go to the talent side, and we'll go to their side of the global smart contract tool. Accept the gig right here. And then we're going to you know, just imagine that we're fast forwarding. They've been communicating back and forth. You can update here, zero to 100%. And obviously, all of this UI and UX is very rudimentary. We wanted to show the functionality more than the, uh, you know, the design. But you know, steak over sizzle. Sorry, Dee, about that. I know you're vegetarian, as you, you highlighted. Okay, so let's get back here. Um, I'm going to refresh, and now that that job is 100% complete, we're going to finish the job. It immediately brings up that review that we were talking about. So it's both sides, like Uber, rider, and driver. Here it's talent and client. Rider review, and BJ does fantastic. Oh my goodness. Work. All of the technological difficulties there. All right, so we get here, and what just happened is that released that escrow wallet funds my earnings. So I come here. Click on earnings. Try not to have my finger shake too much. There we go. And that just is going about to come through. We're going to go back to all transactions. Completed. Processing. <coughs> and because again, Avalanche is fast, nice and done. So last step is we withdraw the earnings. Go to Avalanche here. Wallet address. Go here, let's set $100. And the password is already preloaded. We request the withdrawal. Now let's watch that go into the core wallet. Nice and quick. <laughs> Just happened. All right. So there you go. We were using the core wallet already, and I know I was talking to Nick earlier. He was talking about breaking down barriers for builders. That's exactly what we're trying to do here and make it a global phenomenon. So this can be done, obviously, for Afrofone, but it's not one site. Multiple sites can be built. Anything you can imagine a marketplace for in a Web3 place can be built on PAX API. Now, what is our next step here? I know that we're doing a, a quick run through, so let me just get to the last part that I want to share before we get to the uh, we get to the question. So, it's a free core API. Businesses can launch on PAX that brings in talent to the ecosystem, which then creates needs. And once those needs are uh, in existence, you're going to need to have those needs met by developers building things like maybe. On, on tax API, or a tax calculated API, or anything you can possibly imagine. That then improves the functionality of the ecosystem, attracting more businesses, attracting more talent. Um, I could go into all the total addressable market and all the tokenomic stuff later, but I'd love to field any questions if anyone's interested. So the oracle for job completion is back and forth. And actually, that really brings up the, the number one question always, which is that. What do you do with issue resolution? Uh, issue resolution is pretty quick. So after an unsatisfactory review, which is a view, review of four or lower, what you get is an opportunity, if you're the talent, to resubmit. 
Now, if either party thinks that there's malice or that was unsatisfactory to the degree that it's basically outright theft that someone is getting paid for this, then you take it to arbitration. Arbitration is a panel of five people, three that if I'm a talent, it's going to be three client and two talent or vice versa. And then the verdict of that jury, so to speak, is final. Loser of an arbitration has for one month their profile is frozen. And then if they lose two, that profile is kicked off. So you can have multiple profiles across any PAC platform, but you'd be basically shoots and laddering all the way back down to zero with a low effort or low score, and obviously that would impact your earnings. Thanks.